I'm going to review us what we started on before we went on our first spring break, which was section 5.2. Um, so the first thing was discrete and continuous variables, or random variables. Remember, discrete is going to be a whole number, and continuous can be a decimal. So when it asks you these questions, whenever you're looking at them on my math lab, remember normally it's going to give you some sort of scenario. Um, this one says the number of books in your school library. So that's going to be discrete because that's going to be a whole number. Um, this one says uh, the temperature of the water in Lake Erie. So we know that temperature can be, it's not always going to be 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 15 degrees, 70 degrees. It can be a decimal. So that's going to be continuous. Um, so again, make sure you just ask yourself that. I always just ask myself, can it be a decimal? If the answer is yes, then that's going to be continuous. Then the next thing we started talking about was um, a probability, and I'll abbreviate, a probability distribution. And there were two cr criteria for that. So remember I told you it was going to be a yes-no question. So first criteria was um, are all the numbers or all the probabilities in between 0 and 1. And we learned that in the last chapter. So that was a quick visual check. You just look down all your probabilities. Were they all in between 0 and 1? And then the second criteria was that your sum of all your probabilities needed to be right at 1. So you just add them up. And remember we talked about it needed to be hovering right there at 1. It couldn't be at 95%. Um, it needed to be right there at 1. So here's an example. Um, so I've got X and I have my probability. So these are going to be my random variables. Um, this is the number of times maybe you're going to do the experiment. And this is the probability that you're getting the certain outcome. Um, this one's going to be 15, 16, 20, and 25 of whatever it is you're doing. So this is 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and negative 0.8. So the question is, is this a probability distribution? So it was yes or no, yes or no question. And if no, which one of these criteria failed? So again, as you look down through all of these or all of these numbers in between 0 and 1, so the answer is no. So this is no because I'm going to say negative uh, 0.8. Okay, so that's all you have to do. Remember we talked about um, none of these were hard. None of these required a whole lot of work. You didn't have to do anything to it. Um, so um, that one was easy here. Let's do maybe one more just to make sure um, that we're okay. X, P of X. Um, 20, 30, 40, and 50, and this is 0 0.05, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, and 0.2. So same question, is this a probability distribution? So as I look through all my numbers, they're all in between 0 and 1, so the first one works. So now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put all these in my calculator. And I'm going to add them up, so 0.05 plus 0.35, 0.4, and 0.2. And my sum is 1, so this one is yes. All right, so that was the first question. That should be what your first My Math Labs look like. Um, it should be yes, no questions. And then after that, um, you're going to, well, the first question should be discrete or continuous. Then the next question should be yes or no, um, is it a probability distribution? The next questions um, are going to be talking about the mean and the probability um, and the standard deviation. Now, when we did these in class, I showed you how to do them by hand. Um, again, that was assuming we were going to be in class, and I told you that was going to be the bonus. Um, now we're assuming we're not going to be in class, so your tests are going to be, this test is going to be non-proctored. So you're going to do this in your calculator. Um, for those of you that had borrowed my calculator, I have put in your modules, in this module, a way for you to upload um, a TI-84. I think it's the silver edition, but it should look just like this one. It's a way for you to upload a calculator onto your computer. 
Um, so you'll have to follow the directions. Um, I did it last night. It took me a little while to do it, but you download it. You have to physically go in and you have to click on all the buttons, um, but it will do everything for you. Um, and then that way, if you didn't have your own calculator, you don't have to go out and borrow one or buy one um, to finish out the class. You just have to download it onto um, to your desktop. Um, so again, those directions are on um, in your module, in this module um, for you. I think it says TI-84 directions or something like that. So just to recap, um, the way that we're gonna put this in our calculator, we're gonna do this example. I wanna find the mean. Remember mean was this weird little U and standard deviation was this weird little circle with um, the line at the top. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put X into list one and I'm gonna put my probability into list two. So I still go into, sorry, I'm still gonna go into stat and into edit, just like we did before. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna go into stat and into edit here. Um, let's clear everything out first. So second plus option four, and we'll clear out whatever was already there. So now I'm gonna go back into stat and into edit, I'm gonna go over to my list one, and I'm gonna put this X, it's gonna go into L1, my probability is gonna go into L2. So here, I've got 20, then 30, then 40, and then 50. So in my X's all went into L1. All right, so now, I'm gonna go over here to L2, and I'm gonna put all my probabilities into L2. So 0.05, 0 0.35, 0 0.4, and 0 0.2. It has to be, in order to do the mean, in order to do um, the standard deviation, it has to be a probability distribution. So for this one that had no, there's no mean, there's no um, standard deviation. The answer has to be yes in order for you to do this problem. All right, so my two columns match up. One's not longer than the other. So now I go in, I do stat. Again, I do calculate here. And then I do one bar stat. All right, so some of you had to do L1 comma L2. If yours didn't look like my screen, some of you just had stat calculate one bar stat. So some of you had to just do L1 comma L2. And you had to put it in like that. Remember L1 is down here, it's directly right here. Zoom in again. It's, it's right here above number one, and so it's blue, so I have to do second and number one. The comma is right here below sign, and then L2 is right here, right above number two. Again, you have to do second and number two, all right? Those of you that have a calculator, I'll zoom back out, that looks like mine. Out beside list, you have to do put L1 there, and then here, I beside frequency list, you have to put in your L2. You have to let the calculator know that you have two lists. Then you're going to go down here to calculate and push enter. The way that you know it's right is this standard deviation that we did the last chapter goes away. Okay, so that's how you know that you put it in your calculator right, whether it was like mine or whether it was like this. So my mean is the very first answer. So the mean is 37.5. And my standard deviation, again, look at here is gonna be 8.3. We're gonna go to one decimal because all of these had no decimals. So that is gonna be my standard deviation. Okay, so let's try one more just to make sure that we're okay. I'm gonna put one more example up here um, just to make sure. I'll try to find one that's not so out there. All right, so here's my X. Two, four, six, eight. All right. And then my probability is point two, point four, point thirty two, and point oh eight. Okay, I'm sorry, you can see it. All right, so I'm already telling you that it says find the mean and the standard deviation of this probability 
uh, and distribution. So they've already checked it. They've already made sure that um, when I added these up, it was equal to one. So they just want you to go and put it in the calculator. So again, I'm gonna go in here and push second plus number four, and I'm gonna clear it out. Again, the calculator that I showed you how to download onto your computer is gonna do this for you. Um, so if you don't have a calculator, just download it onto your desktop and you should be able to do all this and you don't have to do anything by hand. All right, so stat, edit, go over to list one. This goes into list one. one two, four, six, eight. Then list two, point two, point four, point thirty-two, point zero eight. All right, then stat, calculate. One bar stat, make sure you have list one and list two. And calculate. My mean, that's my first thing. All these have no number, I mean no decimals. So my mean is going to be 4.6. My standard deviation is 1.7 right here. All right, all right, so that was just a quick review for you. Now you should be able to do your My Math Lab. Um, and then I'll have you probably a worksheet um, uploaded also for you to be able um, to work um, and get back to me. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.